for tog fishing. I got some green crabs I'm gonna use as bait, and I'm gonna walk the jetty and see if I can find any tog. I tied uh, this tog rig myself. Basically, I got a uh, bottom sweeper jig there, a tog jig, a little clip so I could change it out. This is 40 pound line. Tied with a dropper loop, little bait holder there. So you can put a crab on in two spots. And that's connected here to a 30 pound braid with an FG knot. So let's uh, put some crabs on and see if there's fish down here. You cut the legs off and then you cut it directly in half in through there and out one of the sockets and that's good to go. Take that and just cast it right down. Make sure my drag set really nice and tight. Got him. Wow, what? First cast. Big old puffer. Oh my gosh. I snagged him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that thing. He's all blown up. Why, wow, that's really cool, guys. First fish of the day. Big old puffer fish. All right, I've only been here for a little bit. And I'm already, there's already seems to be a decent amount of life here. I'm getting hits. All right. First one that I hooked of the day. That's awesome. Whoop. Quick release. Just got another tiny guy. We're gonna need one to be a little bit bigger than that to be a keeper. Still fun to catch though. Getting nibbles right here. Seems like there I can't find any uh, tog that are of decent size today. These little fish are biting it right now. Like I'm getting bites. But they're not taking the bait. Yeah, there we go. Finally, there we go. All right. Oh, there he is right there. All right, buddy. See you later. Even those small ones are pretty fun. Like when they hit that, when they hit the bait, they hit it really hard. And you know they're there. All right, down to my last few crabs. Only was able to land. Oh my God. I was on my, I was on my last few crabs and my GoPro died. And this really nice tog just smacked that bait. Holy cow. I cannot believe that. Looks to be a keeper tog. Wow. I'm so upset that I didn't get that on film. That is my PB tog. This is the first year that I'm going after them. Woo -hoo -hoo! That's right there next to my foot. And that's a size 11 wading boot. All right, so it took me almost two hours and two dozen crabs, but I finally got my first keeper tog of the year. Great fight, and I'm even more excited to do a catch and cook with this because I've never done it before. Um, so let's take this back to the kitchen, fillet it up, and do something awesome with this fish.
All right, so this is my first time filleting blackfish and the pin bones are really hard to get out, maybe because it was so fresh. So I ended up just cutting it straight down and cutting the pin bones out of the middle. So the recipe I'm gonna do today is a seared blackfish over roasted squash and caramelized onions. Gonna serve that with a parsnip puree, pomegranate seeds, finished with a beurre blanc sauce. So let's get started. That is a great way to get the seeds out of the pomegranate. Just cut it right down. As you can see, just keep hitting it. Then you just strain it out. All right, I got my parsnips in there with a little bit of onion. I'm gonna cover it with some cream. A little salt, a little pepper. We're gonna let that cook until the uh, parsnips are tender. So as you can tell right there, squash just came out, the fork went through, so that means it's tender. Right, so it looks like everything's nice and tender in there. I'm just gonna buzz it up. A little bit of salt. So that's looking really good, nice and smooth. And I'm just going to keep it warm in the meantime. So I got a little bit of wine in there. Just a splash of champagne vinegar. I got some of these shallots that I diced up. Gonna let all that cook together. Let the wine reduce. Next I got my fish. And this is really simple guys. Just a little bit of salt, some pepper, just a little bit of flour, just to dry it off. This is my first time trying tautog, blackfish, and I just want to see the uh, flavor. All right. I also put a uh, little bit of cracked black pepper in there. All right, this is looking really nicely reduced. Gonna go ahead in. Get some cream, a splash more. Cream's in, now I just want this to reduce by half. All right, so that's what we're looking for right there. Cream is nicely reduced. Just gonna let that cool off for a second because if it's too hot, it's not gonna emulsify. Just a little bit of oil. Got the onions that I chopped up. Gonna let those sweat out. Got some lemon. Gonna squeeze that right in. I got my butter cubed up here. Just gonna buzz it and just add a little bit at a time. We just uh, are trying to avoid the splatter. So as you can see, that sauce is nice and thick. You can tell by uh, going like that. You just need a little bit more lemon and just a little bit more salt. All right, we're gonna go in with that squash. Nicely roasted. Uh, 
time to put the Tata again. This is all searing and we're coming close to the end. I'm just gonna put just a sprinkle of fresh chopped tarragon in that sauce. Squash is looking great. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of butter. A little bit of pomegranate seeds. Turn the heat off of that. Let that warm through. Don't forget to finish it with the tarragon. Oh wow. Wow. Alrighty. Let's start plating. All right, I think that came out pretty good. Let's uh, try this Tauta because I've never had it. Mara's never had it. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Wow, the inside is like very white meat. Super moist. Mm -hmm. Tender. Wow. Try it with everything else. That is so good. <laughs> mm. You know, you wouldn't think the pomegranate goes well with the squash, but it adds a little bit of contrast. The parsley puree gives it that creaminess. Mm. The beurre blanc, it just, just tops it off. Oh yeah. Wow. I mean, look at that. That's delicious. Beautiful meat. Wow. Plates are empty, and I gotta say, that's one of my new favorite fish of the Jersey Shore. I'm gonna be going out there to get some more of those, because that was delicious. As always guys, recipe in the description if you want to try out the recipe for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that catch and cook. I've got some more stuff coming and I'll see you next time on The Line Cook.